Hi there, I'm Diana from Harb Ski Systems. We are ready for installment four of our Learn to Use Your Harb Carvers videos. Uh, in the last lesson, number three, we learned how to make linked direction changes on the flats. And we were doing it by tipping and taking small teeny little steps with the heel wheels staying on the ground and the toe wheels moving around them, teeny little steps. Crucial that we don't get our feet really, really wide apart in any of these steps because that leads to loss of our balance and inability to do our quick little balance changes. What we haven't done yet in this whole series is visited a hill. We've been on the flats. Well, and today we're going to work towards getting up on a hill and being able to make enough of a turn on the way down to control your speed. First thing we're going to do is take the small direction changes that we learned in the last video and we're going to see if we can tighten the arc of the turn. And there's going to be a temptation when we want to tighten the turn to just whoo, take a big step to make it tighter. But the problem with that is it leaves us kind of splayed between our feet. So what we're going to work towards is quickening the pace of our steps instead of one, two, one, two. It's going to be quick time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we're going to try to tip more with each step. If you have been tipping a little bit, we're going to tip to more of an angle, especially with that inside foot. So, here we go. What I'm going to do is make a couple of curves to my left, because that works here, left or towards the inside of the road. And I'm going to start out with small, easy, gentle steps. And then as I get going into it, you're going to see how I quicken my stepping and how I try to tilt more with my feet. There we go. Okay, a couple of gentle steps first. And then the quick ones. So to be that quick, it's important that they're really tiny little steps. And a gentle one, gentle two, quick, 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 quick. Can you see that angle? There we go. I'm going to get going, get back on my side of the road here. I'm just going to stop, wait for my traffic to clear. Okay, good. There we go. Back towards the camera, and I'm going to do quick, quick, quick turns to my right. A lot of angle, quick steps. A lot of angle, a lot of angle, a lot of angle, and look at how tightly I can turn now. I got a whole turn done in the span of the roadway. Tip, 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 tip. And don't be surprised if it takes you a bunch of practice to work up to this quickness and this angle of tipping, but this is exactly what we want to work towards. Skating. Good angle, quick steps. There we go. If you feel like you have trouble with your balance, poles wide and drag, that's actually going to help us to be able to do the tipping. There we go. There we go. Super quick. Now, once you can get that whole turn around and still have some momentum, we're going to work towards figure eights. So I'm going to use I'm going to use the yellow stripe as the center of my figure eight. And the whole goal here is itsy bitsy teeny little steps, a lot of tipping angle with a little bit of momentum from one side to the other. There we go. Tick, tick, tick. When I hit the line, other direction. Dip, 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 dip. Okay, here comes the line. Little toe, angle and little steps. Here comes the line. I'm going to give a skate, get a little bit of speed. There we go. Lefty, lefty, lefty. Left little toe, left little toe, left little toe. And switch. Right little toe, right little toe, right little toe. There we go. Here I come, and it's a switch. Left little toe. And right little toe. Left little toe. And little quick. Little quick steps. When you can do that, we're going to be ready to go up the hill ever so slightly. So I'm about to skate up this gentle hill behind me, and I'm not going to go very high at first. I'm only going to go maybe 10 yards or something. Uh, one of the most important things to keep in mind, what we're going to do in our progression here, and as you start to go up on hills, is that we want to depend on our path, our trajectory, 
the amount of curve we're making on the way down to control our speed. Even though we have practiced using the brake up to now, and we need to have that skill, you should view that as kind of a, a fallback plan. From here forth, see if you can stop by curving back up the hill rather than stop by using the brake. So when we first go up the hill, we don't want to go really, really high or on a really, really steep hill because that, again, is probably beyond our ability to just make turns to control our speed. So we're on a very gentle slope. We're only going to go a little ways up. When I first get up there, I'm not going to head straight down the hill. I'm not going to head straight for my camera guy and go super fast. I'm just going to aim ever so slightly down the hill to feel what it's like to get rolling with gravity doing it. And then I will practice my brake stop up there again. So you can skate or you can do uni push depending on what you want to practice and I think this post is looking like a great spot yes plenty of hill for the first time so when you get up here use your poles you can step around because we've practiced that and I'm gonna aim across the hill if I stand here I know that I'm across the hill when I don't slide I don't get rolling now that's downhill this is uphill. If I want to get going, I'm going to aim my feet more down the hill. If I want to slow down, I'm going to take my little steps back up the hill. So downhill happens to be my right. Couple little steps to the right. Aha, there's my hill. You can see me get rolling. I didn't have to skate. Just practice one stop here. There you go. Reaffirm that you have that break before you get yourself into any kind of trouble. Check your traffic, good, here I go. Now, this time, instead of using my brake, I am gonna make a turn to slow down. Because it's gentle, I'm almost going straight down the hill. Notice how I got a little bit of speed, effortlessly. I'm gonna to curve to my left. Left foot tips to the little toe. Little step, little step, little step, little step, little step. Really quick little steps. Hey, see that? I came to a stop because I curved back up the hill. We're gonna do that on the other side. Go. Skate on up. Got the same marker on this side, conveniently. Okay. Little steps to face. There we go. Test, yeah. I'm facing across the hill. This time left is down. A couple steps to my left should get me, yes, rolling. And now my right foot, little toe, little toe, little toe, and tilt, and tilt, and step, and tilt, and step, and tilt, and step, and keep tilting and stepping. Boom. Until you stop. That's important. We only get a little bit of speed each time so that we are able to stop by curving back up the hill. That's what we're working towards. So, I had good success. I'm a little higher in the hill. I went a little steeper this time and I'm rolling. I wanna curve left to stop. Left foot tips to the little toe and then little steps, little steps on the edges. And I curve until I whoop, stop. Same thing other direction. There we go. So I know where I can stand. I know what my angle is to be across the hill. A couple steps down the hill. Gravity does its thing. Tip to the right. Then little steps, little steps, little and quick, 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 quick steps. And that time to come to a stop, I'm actually facing straight up the hill. So you see how much tipping and how much stepping, just like those figure eight turns, you see how much you have to do to come to a stop. Now, I'm gonna go slightly higher on the hill. Just a couple more skates. Because this hill gets steeper as you go up it. There we go, here's my across. A couple steps down to get going, and maybe even count 1,001. 1,002, picking up speed. Gonna go left. Left little toe, tipping, 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 and stepping, 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 super quick. There we go. And I swoop, I swoop uphill to a stop. Go a little higher here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Step down, get going. One, two, little toe, little steps, little toe, little steps, little toe, and little steps. Uh, boom! Until you come to a stop. You can always use your poles to help with the maneuvering. 
So once you can skate up a hill, stand in place, take little steps to get going down the hill and be able to step, tipping, little steps. Once you can do that to come to a stop by swooping uphill on both sides, then we're ready to see not just can I do it, but how do I do it? To make sure that our feet are doing what we want them to, to make sure that our upper body is doing what we want it to, because we really are at the point where we're practicing a lot of, of important skiing movements here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the hill and I'm going to do a couple of swoops both to the left and to the right and I'm going to do a double pull drag because that's going to help me to keep my counterbalancing and counteracting to make sure that I'm not woo, coming around the corner like this because I'm in a real hurry to get around the corner and come to a stop. So I know I can do it but now I'm going to see how do I do it. That was lesson four, being able to get ourselves up onto a hill, being able to stop at least from the fall line by tipping, taking little steps with the front wheels and making our carb carvers curve up the slope. That's our means of slowing down. We are there. So in the next lesson, we're going to learn how we can actually link turns on a hill. Thanks for watching. <laughs>